What's going on YouTubers? This is uh, Mopar Man 1978 um, out here doing on a video on this 2007 Chevy Silverado 1500 with the 4.8 liter V8 in it and uh, a while back we had uh, stopped over at the gas station about a couple miles away and I went to check on the coolant level and barely touched a heater hose and the plastic fitting the factory fitting that goes between the hose and the heater core broke in half and shot uh, coolant hot coolant all over the place so um, but anyway um, wanted to show you the modification that I did uh, low budget anybody can do this um, so let me show you what I did um, as you can see, here is the factory fitting that already molded into the clamp part for the hose. This is one of the uh, uh, heater hoses, and there's a plastic tube that comes off here, and on the end of the plastic tube there's a special slide-on slash lock, ring, plastic lock ring that's as wide as this one. Um, kind of looks like this one on the end. Anyway... Um, it fits back up on the uh, heater hose tubes that come out of the firewall, but on the heater hose tubes themselves, they have a built-in ring that goes all the way around that the uh, fitting that slides up and locks onto it. Well, um, what you do is you have to get in there with a, uh, I used a Sawzall blade which is because they're stiffer than a uh, hacksaw blade and I uh, used one for like cutting metal with the fine teeth and I just laid it on top of the, the uh, fitting and took my time and cut across the full length of it until I got down to where I could take a screw straight edge screwdriver in the groove and turn it and pop the whole fitting loose and pull it off and I had to do that on both of these and uh, anyway, let's see if I can shine the light on. There we go. Um, and then you just have a regular uh, hose. Well, yeah, there was another fitting down here. And then uh, this one down here uh, is uh, basically this right here that goes into the inlet down there on the water pump let's see sorry down on the water pump there's the uh, the Y fitting the plastic fitting as you can see and this one was also weak too it just was brittle and it was a matter of time before that broke too so what I had to do and this is this goes to the overflow tank right here which is that hose right there anyway um, had to go buy another one. I couldn't find any plumbing fitting to actually fit this from a local home improvement store that could join the two. Uh, but anyway, so I had to go and buy the Gates one from O'Reilly's. And, but I did go to the home improvement store where I work and I bought the Made in America hose clamps. Um, made in America. Uh, I quit buying the ones from the auto parts store and the one from Walmart and etc because they're just made over in China and they're really thin and horrible and they strip out in any way. Um, so instead of using the, the horrible uh, factory clamps that rely on tension, I just put those worm clamp, what I call worm clamps, on these. And this hose here that comes up that comes on this piece that you buy from O'Reilly's is 5 eighths, but the problem is the 5 eighths won't fit. It'll fit over the tube coming off of the heater core, but it won't fit over the, that, what I call that built-in lock ring that's already built in on the tubes. So what you have to do is you have to get a couple feet of three-quarter heater hose and I went to the same home improvement place and bought this, what they call this, cast 
iron or cast metal um, plumbing reducer. It's a plumbing pipe reducer, whatever the hell you want to call it. Anyway, this side, I had to buy about a two inch long section of tube that comes with threads on both sides. And then on this side, because it reduced down to five eighths, I had to buy five eighths or half inch size. I think it's half inch, yeah, half inch uh, tube. Uh, or whatever, maybe it was 5 eighths. I can't remember. Anyway, all I know is it fits inside this 5 eighths hose. Anyway, um, what I did was I took some rough grit sandpaper and smoothed down the sharp threads. And I went ahead and slid the tube over and put a clamp on it so you could see that. And then on the other threads that goes into this uh, reducer, um, I put some really good quality um, plumbing tape thick quality plumbing tape on there on the threads use more of the clamps um, this whole piece of tubing I couldn't use the factory 5 8 tubing because it also has one of these fittings on each end or whatnot so I went and bought a three or four foot section of 5 8 well no I take that back I'm jumping ahead of myself sorry three to four feet section more of three quarter I was able to slide that tube all the way over to the back and then what I did up, up in here I put the clamp over the tube but behind that built-in ring on the heater hose and I had to use a small ratcheting wrench I think it was like 5 16 or 3 8 to fit over the top of the, uh, the, uh, top of this one instead of trying to use a straight edge screwdriver to clamp them and um, uh, then what you got to do is uh, once you get all that fixed of course you got to belch the system on these newer vehicles and all I did was was uh, uh, let the vehicle run and park with the heater on full bore heat and I uh, left the cap off and I started slowly adding uh, coolant and uh, up to just past where it says max so that I know I could see the bubbles coming up past the fluid and I just ran it once in a while I'd rev the engine up have somebody rev the engine up but I uh, basically burped the system put the cap back on took it for a drive to check the leaks and then later on, after we drove it in town and back for the full day and whatnot, let it sit overnight, come back, and I rechecked re this. It was down just a little bit. <laughs> Add some more coolant, and this is good to go. Uh, so if you have anything that uh, requires this monstrosity here, anything 2000s, Chevy, pickup, Avalanche, whatever, um, Maybe this will help you on your uh, modification if you don't want to have to deal with all that weird clamping situations from the factory and you want to bypass all that crap. Um, hope this helped you guys and uh, stay tuned for the next video.